it's me again so today i just want to just kind of just talk about uh, a topic that's kind of broad um i wanted to kind of talk about mainly like the mindset and how your mindset can actually hurt you and how it can actually aid you um the reason why i say that is because you know people don't realize that the mind is everything Everything that they get in their life usually comes from their mind. It usually comes from the way that they're thinking about things, a scenario. Um, Sometimes your mindset can give you an opportunity. Sometimes your mindset can take away an opportunity. And, um, you know, I just kind of want to touch bases on that a little bit. But, um, I mean, like, let me tell you something. Let me just kind of, I can tell you a story, like, on how me making a conscious decision kind of changed everything for me so whenever i used to hang out with a certain individuals back in the day their mindset um you know wasn't on the entrepreneur level they wasn't you know trying to do anything with their life um you know they just was stuck on just living working and just kind of just waiting and celebrating on the weekend and you know i just kind of knew you know from a young age that's not what i wanted to grow up into i didn't want to you know, be stuck and stagnant. So whenever I started to change my circle, you know, your vibe attracts your tribe, right? I started to change my circle and like the people that I was hanging out with before versus the people I hang out with now, they're, they think so different. They think differently about people. They think differently about, um, sir. Hey, thank you, bro. I, hey, we just had a phone, whole phone call. You got me hyped too. You that's why I'm doing this video because, you know, just everybody needs to know like their mindset is going to take them places in life. Your mindset can be a heaven or it can be hell. You know, you can have hell on earth. You can have heaven on earth as well, too. Um, but, um, you know, the people that I was just hanging with, that all they wanted to do was just kind of talk about, you know, negative news, you know, talk about people, gossip. Um, just talk about, you know, their failures and like, these are the same people that got mad whenever you was always happy and motivated and they just didn't make any sense. Um, but now the people that I I talk to, they want to inspire people. They want to change the world. You know, they want to, um, raise the vibration of the planet. And that's mainly where I'm at with everything. You know, I want to, um, make sure, you know, at the end of the day, I'm doing my part of making sure that I'm feeding my mind, but I also want to feed your mind too and let you guys know that y'all can do whatever you want. Like y'all can, you guys are creators. You guys, like, I'm not the, I'm not a super religious person. I used to be. I used, I came from the uh, Christianity background, but you know, I, I know everybody has their own thoughts on, you know, but like at the end of the day, like religion is, is a program for your mind too. You know what I'm saying? Like, the way they get you to think. Now, there's spirituality inside of religion, but religion usually is supposed to put God in a box. Um, and it's supposed to tell you, you're supposed to do this, you're supposed to do that. And, you know, to be honest, like, as long as you believe and you know who you are and God works through you, the universe works through you, you know, the mind, can, you know what I'm saying? Just at the end of the day, like, just be around positive people. Just, just, just focus on you know, feeling good, you know, when you feel good, you usually make better decisions. When you feel bad about something or you feel in your gut, that lets you know that you either are about to make a bad decision or that these people in your life aren't right for you. So this is just my way of just kind of letting you guys know, like, hey, look, I'm here to support you guys. I'm here to tell you guys that you can make it. Remember, if the people in your circle are not growing you, they're killing you. And when I mean killing you, like they're just lowering your vibe, they're lowering your chances of success because you might go tell somebody, yeah, man, I got this new job, da 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 da, and they're paying me this and that, and you know, you might have somebody that's hating on you, come out, oh yeah, yeah, that job, oh this this sucks because this job, this and that is a dead end. But if it's good for you, then it's good for you, all right? You don't need people in your corner like that. But let's say if you're an entrepreneur, oh yeah, I just started my business and da 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 da. Most people, when you tell them that you're starting a business, they don't even want to support you. Ain't it funny? Like you got promoted or you got this new job or you're going to school and you can get, you know, like hundreds of likes and comments. And then whenever you tell people that you started a business or whenever you're working with, you know, multimillionaires, like they look at you like, 
that you're dumb. It's just so backwards. And my whole life, not my whole life, but I feel like for the most part, like I've been going against everyone trying to prove them wrong. Like even my own parents sometimes, I just be like, look, y'all told me I couldn't do this. I'm going to show you that I can. And I'm still showing them that I can. Show me your shirt, girl, and I'll show you how your, how your life looks right now. Yeah, bro, like I, I heard that same quote. It was like, show me your circle and I can show you your future. Or show me the people, show me your friends and I'll show you your future, something like that. But they also say, look, if y'all don't, if y'all know about that quote, you are the average of your five friends. I mean, you can even do math with it. Like take the five average incomes of the closest people you hang out with. And then, you know, the, these are the five people that are trying to give you advice. These are the same five people that are trying to tell you how to make it in life. These are the same five people that are just are influential in your life. You take whatever they make, uh, times it by five. And whatever that number is, that's supposed. Oh well, no, no, no. You you add up all their incomes and divide it by five. That is what you should be making based off of those five people. Now, of course, if you're if you're hanging around, you know, thousandaires, then you know that's what you should be making. If you're around millionaires, you should be making that. And even billionaires, you know, whenever they get together, I mean, if if I'm hanging out with five billionaires. Why shouldn't I not be a billionaire? They're going to put me on game. They're going to give me some of that billionaire magic, some of that pixie dust. Hey, Jordan, man, look, don't be hanging. Don't go to that bar. Go to this club. Dress up nice. Go here. You know, say, I'm going to let somebody know that you're coming. I'm going to tell them to come pick you up. You know, whatever. They, they got you. They're going to take care of you, and they're going to put you on game versus you hanging out with some drug dealers. You know what I'm saying? And no, don't get me wrong. Drug dealers are dope. I mean, at the end of the day, the cool ones. But the ones, I mean, they're just entrepreneurs too they just doing it the other way but even them i'm like oh yes you know buy this crack like <laughs> you know what i'm saying like this is what life is all about you know what i'm saying like no like i'm get, get away from me i don't want I, I don't ain't trying to think like that so also the mindset guys is what can keep you in a prison because whatever you keep telling yourself sometimes you might be like oh man this is too hard i'm not good enough like you're just doing negative affirmations and that's a whole nother topic. Um, I think I might want to do the topic with affirmations with Chasten. Um, but you know, what you tell your story, what you tell yourself is what you're also putting into your mind. So your mind, think about it as as a, a open field of just green grass, right? And you have a whole bunch of seeds and you're just planting them you know every thought you have you plant a seed but there's a difference there's two types of seeds there's the negative seeds and then there's positive seeds the negative seeds is what you tell yourself that you're not good enough that you hate the world you hate yourself you hate that person everything's horrible like just anything that just feels negative you plant that seed what do you think you're get? like when that seed grows what do you think you're gonna get you're you're gonna get nothing but more of those things and it's just going to be a big, black, nasty forest of just dead trees. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You have no life. You have no animals swinging in the trees of your jungle. You know what I'm saying? But on the other side, you post, you know, positive things or you feed your mind uh, positive seeds. Then you're going to have a fucking Amazon thing in that thing. You're going to have monkeys sw monkey swimming and jumping off of trees and eating bananas like everything's just gonna work out well for you and you're just gonna keep having that that growth as long as you keep you know planting positive seeds so if you feel like your life is just going slow at the end of the day like the process of everything is supposed to go slow like everything in your life is gonna happen when it's supposed to happen you know at the end of the day like if you are on this call right now and you hear anything i say you was meant for this you know, like the universe is always going to put you in a place where you're supposed to hear your message. So if you're praying, God, I need, I need, you know, verification or I need a confirmation, you know, and it, even if you don't pray to God, you just pray somewhere, you pray to your inner self, whatever, you're going to get the answer when you need it. And the answer can be on a billboard. It can be a number like one one one, like two two two. If bro, if you're listening, drop one one one. If you're really listening to me, because I'm trying to put y'all on game. I pay attention to angel numbers or repeat numbers because it helps me with my decisions. Sometimes I know when not to do something whenever I see a certain number. Um, 
you know, the kids are starting to get loud. I'm, I can't really stay live too long because I'm monitoring. Like when you when you're a parent of four, you always on your toes. You're always listening. You're always you you don't nap. And that's the reason why I am the way that I am. That's why I work so hard. That's why I grind so hard. And that's why everybody knows me this way. Like, everybody knew I was this way before. But, you know, it only made me even grind harder because I got little ones to feed. Um, but at the end of the day, guys, I just want you to guys just to be around people that's supporting you. People that's growing you. Like, if you're around me for too long, I'm going to force you to think about Everything that you're doing. I'm going to force you to level up. I'm going to force you to grow. I'm going to force you to impact people. I'm going to force you to just think outside the box. Like I'm going to force you to love yourself. I'm going to force you to be spiritual. I'm going to force you you know, to grow every single inch of your body and all cells. Because at the end of the day, like if you was to die today and you... You didn't do nothing with your life. You're just going to feel like a failure. And honestly, that's the quickest way for you to leave this world. And trust me, you don't want to leave this world feeling like a failure because you'll be stuck in limbo and you ain't going to be feeling good there either. So you take this time, live life, have fun, impact people, love each other. At the end of the day, I don't want to I don't want to compete with anybody. All right. I don't even I mean, even if I have to, I will. But collaboration is where I'm centered at. Let's collab together. Let's work together. Let's, you know, if you got this business, how can I help you? How can we help you? How can my plug help community serve you guys? Um, if you if you guys are hearing me, guys, just just you know, let me know like how you feel. You know, let me know if if we're doing a good job. I mean, at the end of the day, we're learning. We're doing this. You know, me doing this video. I think I'm on day five for my challenge, and you know, I really want to inspire you guys. Um, to go ahead and, and, and do something different and be around better energy. You know, I mean, honestly, like if you live in a hood, like get out the hood and go to the suburbs, go to the park in the suburbs, go eat in the suburbs, go to the city where it looks clean and just spend a lot of your time there and just feel good being around that energy because there's a difference. You can feel it. You can feel it whenever you go to the projects versus when you go to the hood or I mean to the to the to the, you know, the uppity areas because the people there think different. The mindset of people think like the way they think is different. And sometimes negative people cannot handle good energy, you know, like by default, if someone's energy is here and someone's energy is here, this person is just going to just disappear because they can't handle it. They can't handle you. You know, saying you have a high frequency and you know who I'm talking to. If you hear this, I'm talking to you. Your energy is so high, man, or girl, <laughs> you know, so I'm going to let y'all go. Um, I'm going to be consistent with these videos, like I said. So if you want to give me more video topics, let me know. I really want to know what you guys are interested in hearing because I can talk about business. I can talk about marketing. I can talk about, um, you know, my relationship, meaning like my actual relationship with my family, my kids and my friends and how I go about my life and business i can talk about you know things that's happening in the world and what my opinions are so um real quick so while i got you guys on this we'll go ahead and let y'all go here in a second so I'll tell me this this is the program that i'm coming out with all right um so it's basically just the beginning of your journey if you are a entrepreneur so what we're going to do with my program and i'm most likely going to start letting the early birds in february 1st um and i'm going to launch a little bit after that but here's some quick nuggets because i hear one of the kids getting ready to come too late hold on yes yeah lena can you please leave him alone Okay, so I got a quick second. So, what is your dream customer? What is your avatar? You know, if you don't know who your dream customer is, you can't cater a message around them to make them feel like, dang, this person's in my head. They know exactly what I'm thinking. You got to figure out who exactly you're talking to. So, if you're talking to old people or young people, they need to know exactly that you're talking directly at them. Um you know, creating your hit list. Um, I Some people call it the Dream 100. I call it a hit list because it's all a list of people that I want to hit. Like, okay, I want this person. I got this person. You know, let me interview this person or let me end up in this person's crowd or their audience. 
Um, so I talk about that. What is what bait are you putting on your hook? Because, like I said, some people try to go fishing without putting anything on their hook, and they usually get destroyed or fucked in the end because they don't put nothing there and they don't get no customers. So, work your way into their network. Basically, you know, how can you get in front of their people? It doesn't matter if you are going to their platform and being interviewed by them, or are you creating your own ecosystem and you're interviewing them. Um, creating traffic that you own. So own. So there's three types of traffic. There's traffic that you earn. There's traffic that you buy, and then there's traffic that you own. If you want to know the three, join the program, and then creating your own show or your own daily commitment to whatever it is that you got going on. So I think that's about it, guys. I'm about to go ahead and hop off. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, just let me know. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. Love y'all. Deuces. Plug. Mafia.